Now, right, let's get down to business. The TurboGrafx-16 has become just a little ridiculous with regards to the asking prices for its systems, accessories, and games since we started really buying for it 16 some odd years ago. Like, it's a little dumb. This is a story for another video, but one question bears asking. What if your controller dies and you need another? And what if you play on a system like the TurboGrafx-16, but also on the Turbo Duo or a PC Engine? Well, you could try eBay, but you'll be staring down the barrel of a 50 to 200 Canadian dollar do asking price, depending on the controller's completeness, condition, or, you know, if it even works. Not to mention, some are pricier than others just for being branded with different badges. And of course, TurboGrafx and PC Engine and Duo controllers have different ports. There's a great solution though, and you guessed it, it comes from our friends over at Hyperkin, the specialist controller for TurboGrafx-16 and Turbo Duo. This could well be the ideal purchase for those looking for an all-in-one solution to their NEC console input dilemmas without having to pay a premium for OEM pads. And it comes bundled with a secret weapon. So let's take a closer look. The Specialist comes in a snazzy looking box with one of those iconic Hyperkin sheared corners. New accessories have more standard boxes, but this one, at least for now, has that Hyperkin style that has very much become a part of their identity. The Specialist is one slick looking controller. With its yellow stripe, subtle button and turbo switch accents, textured face, accented top edge, and sheared bottom corners, this could be one of the best looking third party pads ever made for the Turbo. The Specialist is about the same size as a turbo pad with about the same height and width as the original. It feels really good too, as it has great button resistance and that signature Hyperkin butt, giving it the same comfy grip as the NES Cadet, Super NES Scout, and Mega Drive Squire controllers. The Specialist connects to a TurboGrafx-16 just as easily as any original TG-16 controller. Just plug it in and away you go. With its extensive 10-foot cord, it has perhaps the longest reach of any NEC-compatible controller to date without the assistance of the sometimes excessive extension cables that were once available in the past. Just sit back on the couch and you're in the game clear across the room. But what if you have a Duo or a PC Engine? Well, this little guy comes packaged along with the Specialist, an adapter that allows players to use it on any PC Engine or Duo console. Want to play on a portableized PC Engine Core Graphics 2 outfitted with the Columbus Circle Portable Monitor LCD? Done. But it also got us thinking, what else could we use this for? Well, how about a turbo stick on the PC Engine? Piece of cake. Okay, well, how about a TurboTap multiplayer adapter? These little bastards were finicky even when they were new. But look at this, it totally works. This little adapter is almost worth the price of admission, even without the controller. Of course, with that said, at about 30 US dollars, the Specialist is a solid purchase for those looking for a brand new, comfortable controller for their TurboGrafx Duo or PC Engine console. But how does it play? We're going to get started here with the uh, TurboGrafx-16, and uh, I've got Airzonk ready to go here. And uh, I'm very well versed with this game, so this will be an ideal testing, uh, plat or testing um, environment for the specialist. So let's see how we do. I remember playing this game for the first time. It blew my little mind. It was so good. Dalek says, so the sawed off corners aren't a problem? No, not at all. In fact, it gives your thumbs clearance so that the corners aren't digging into them. Now, I haven't put a lot of time in with this pad. Initially, it does feel good, but we'll figure out if there's anything uh, over extensive playtime here. So uh, let's go through my favorite stage here, Cyber City. Um, I always go with Rip in this stage. Got to get that deadly bow, bow, bow. Fun fact, Ed actually did a remix of the Cyber City theme. I did, yeah. Brains, the Brainstown theme here uh, was something that I remixed in uh, MTV Music Generator. It was not a bad remix from it, what I understand. It was quite good. I enjoyed it. Dalek says Cyber City o Ed o 808 <laughs> <laughs> I am starting to notice that uh, there are some, di uh, like I'm hitting diagonals when I'm trying to go straight or 
like vertical. Yeah, get all of those shots taken care of. Get those extra points. Yeah, there are there are a couple of issues with this D-pad, I think. As you can see, like I'm pressing sideways and um, I'm sort of moving diagonally when I shouldn't be. And I wonder if that's just a misaligned contact. I might be able to open it up and sort of realign things. But that's a bit of a concern. Giant jaws of death. Oh, why? Giant fists of death. I didn't get to pull it off, though. All right, the Rockin' Stadium. All right, look at all that. Get on out of here. Bam. I don't think I've ever liked using Astra. Got that extra life. She's about as useful as Uriyanjay's healing right now. <laughs> ah. I, I would wager. Oh, my goodness. All right. Dalek says, speaking of which, is PC Tengen 2 still happening? I, uh, I, I believe it should. Like, um, meow. It's, um, it's likely going to happen. The PC Tengen 2 is important to me. So, yeah, we're definitely going to check that out, especially since we can deliver excellent uh, footage like you see here. Now, I might be able to launch a bomb here and catch them. There we go. Okay. So why don't you ever really use Astra? Because her special weapon sucks. <laughs> Zoob says, evening, everyone. Arizon. What's up? Yeah, this is Arizonk on the TurboGrafx-16, and we are playing with the Hyperkin Specialist controller. All right, what have I got here? Let's go with the laser. Oh shit, I missed it. See, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes there are diagonals when I don't want there to be diagonals. And lighting is really good. It's it's very good, I can't deny that, but shit, see, that wasn't intentional. I, I moved in a diagonal fashion there. Yeah, this controller does have issues with its diagonals. Well, it's straight lines anyways. Um, you'll hit diagonals when you don't mean to. Yeah, I got that extend. Cultural says extendo shimasta. <laughs> extendo shimasta. Uh, I would say, I would say that uh, they'll go with an IPS screen instead of a uh, an OLED screen because it's less expensive and more energy efficient. Yes. Okay. Cool. Doing really well on this boss for once. Oh, I've got cards right on. I'll take that for sure. Yes. I keep forgetting that the PlayStation 5 is actually a thing. <laughs> like, I just can't care any less about it. I don't like the fact that I feel like I'm being forced to get one. Oh, no. Let's get in there and kill him with fire. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. That's game over, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think we get the idea. Um, yeah, something about this. It, 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 it feels good. Like... But there's something up with the connection. It thro throws you into a diagonal very, very easily, and I'm not sure why. So I'm going to have to look a little further into that, I think. So yeah, that, that, that'll definitely have to warrant investigation, I believe. Uh, we're going to do a quick switch over now. Okay, we're back with Koryun on the PC Engine. Uh, this is using the adapter for the uh, specialist. So let's... Let's see if we can't... Maybe maybe if we break the controller in, maybe we'll have uh, more luck up. Oh, look how happy that little dude is. Oh, Corian. Him and his bay. That was wrong. Oh, goodness. Oops. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but, oh, no. She's been changed into a chibi character. Which he is. I mean, you know. It's a little more apropos, don't you think? Anyway. Oh yeah, give me that pineapple goodness. Give me that banana. Bananas. Large bunches of bananas. Who really buys just one? This guy here. Like, this is the easiest shoot em up in the world. Give me that fruit. Give me that healthy eating. Oh yes. Oh man, look at that little guy go. Yeah. 
I want more electricity, yes. I'm tiny now. I got the smallness. Oh, apparently I can uh, lock my options in place. That's kind of neat. They don't have to be rolling. Oh no, I died. Dun dun dun. There's always a one up. Always. Yeah. That diagonal. I think, I don't know. We might be able to fix it, quote unquote fix it, if we break it in, but I mean, oof. I don't know, man. Something about these connections. Rude. So rude. Not as rude as me annihilating these barred, barred knife, knife jaws. jaws. <laughs> wow. Tropical fish, that. NPC Cobalt has joined the stream and says, Sup, guys. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Cultural says, Does this game have a cap on how many lives you can have in stock? You can have nine at once. I was going to say it's nine, isn't it? It is. American shrimp. Giant fireball. Ooh. Oh, no. Come over here. Sammy says, whoa, midday, yes. midweek stream. Um, I mean, I'll let you know, every week we're doing stuff on Wednesday now. It gives me something to live for. What am I? <laughs> what the f Wow. <laughs> wow. No, it, it, it gets me through the day. Wednesday is just the worst. Oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> hurt. Seems that way. Jeez, sorry. You wound me, good sir. S so <laughs> Rad says, is it just me, or is it hard to tell bonuses oh. from bullets sometimes? Uh, yeah, it, it can be, uh, oh, you son of a, it can be difficult at times, you're right. Wow, I died as I picked up that power-up, and it still counted. Possums, or Possum Grit says, reminds me very much of Airzonk. Which we just played, actually, on the TurboGrafx-16. Um, it is considered a spiritual successor. Although, um, it really doesn't have anything to, to do with it. Uh, they're vastly different from each other. Look at the Stegosaurus. He, do has, we? he has seen some stuff. Time for the mid bus. But yeah, that's uh, it, it's a glitch that apparently um, not many people knew about. <laughs> and they, they thought that maybe there was an issue with, uh, with the game running on Mister. But it turns out that it was in the game itself. I flew into him there. That was the controller. Ah, well. No bueno on that. Anyways, uh, final verdict on the uh, Hyperkin uh, Specialist. Uh, its build quality is solid. The connections feel good, but for some reason, it tends to hit diagonals on its own when you want to just go one single direction. It does kind of feel a little better now that I've played over the course of two full games, but... I don't know if it's that that's just settling in or if it's going to be something that's going to be persistent throughout my time with it. I will have to put a little further uh, further uh, use into it to see what happens. I'm also likely going to open it up here um, maybe tomorrow or something like that to see if I can adjust the contacts on the inside because that could be an issue as well. But um, but yeah, I, I, I like how it feels, and it, and it should, in, in theory, be a good pad, but uh, something in it right now, just with how we've played it right now, isn't quite clicking, and that's kind of unfortunate. But I will definitely report back as to whether or not I can figure out the issues on the Hyperkin Specialist.